Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can multiply this directly as x times x times x. That's same thing as x cube then minus also x times x. That's x square equals to 100 on this side. The next step here, we take 100 to the left hand side. And this becomes s cube minus x square minus 100 equals to 0 here. Then from here, we can write 100 as 125 minus 25. And what we have becomes x cube minus x square minus into bracket 125 minus 25 close brackets then equals to zero here and from here minus open this bracket and we have x cube minus x square minus 125 then plus 25 equals to zero here and also here, we can write 125 as 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 cube. And also 25 can be written as 5 times 5, which is 5 square. Then, this equation becomes x cube minus x square minus 5 cube plus 5 square equals to zero from here then we bring the power of three together that is here we have x cube minus five cube and also the power of two together then we have minus x square plus five square equals to zero here that is this we can write this and we have x cube minus 5k into brackets then also we can factor minus out here we have minus into bracket x square then minus 5 square close bracket equals to 0 here that is what we have here the first bracket follows what we have a cube minus b cube and this same thing as a minus b into bracket, then open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. Now, so the second bracket follows when we have a square minus b square, which is same thing as into bracket a minus b close bracket, then open bracket a plus b. That is, yeah, what we have follow this and becomes x minus 5 into bracket and open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square close bracket then we have minus also this become x minus 5 into bracket and open bracket x plus 5 close bracket then equals to 0 here that is, we have x minus 5 common here. We can factor it out, and this becomes x minus 5 into brackets and open brackets. Here we are left with x square, then plus 5x plus 5 squared that's 25. Then here we are left with minus into brackets x plus 5, then close this bracket. Now equals to zero here. That is here minus open this brackets and this becomes x minus five into bracket and open bracket. We have x square plus five x plus twenty five. Then here become minus x minus five close brackets equals to zero here. That is. From here, this becomes x minus 5 into brackets, 
then open brackets x square 5x minus x give us plus 4x then 25 minus 5 give us plus 20 close brackets equals to 0 here then we have two possible cases the first one x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here and from here this gives us x equals to 5 which is a real solution here and on this side we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20 and applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac all over 2a and what we have becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 then all over 2 times 1 that is here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square that's 16 then we have minus 4 times 1 times 20 we have 80 then all over 2 then here this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 we have minus 64 all over 2 which also we can write as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 all over 2 that is this follows when we have root a times b we can separate this as root a times root b that is here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1 over 2 and here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 that's 8 root minus 1 is i then over 2 that is this becomes x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. And we have x equals to minus over 2, that's minus 2, then plus or minus. Here we have 4i, which implies we have two complex solutions here. Making three solutions together, that is one real solution here. Okay, two complex solutions here. When we write it out, we say we have the first one x1 equals to 5. Then we have x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4 high. Then x3, we have minus 2 minus 4 high. Making three solutions together, one real and two complex. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. And see you in our next class. Bye for now.